What's going on guys? Got a video for you. This is going to be a pen update video. I did a video a while back about uh, the pens and the ink cartridges that I was into and using. So I figured let's do a, uh, I guess a 2022 update and uh, we'll go from there. In that video, I talked about the Parker style and uh, the different Parkers that I have tested and used and the G2 and the different pens that I had at that time. Over uh, well, it's probably been a year back almost-ish. I kind of settled on the three that you see in front of you. These are my three pens. These are, unless I grab something that my wife has laying around downstairs, these are my three options, and they each have a different purpose. So, let me get into it. We'll go over some, some of the things that, um, has gotten me to settle on these guys, and uh, we'll go from there. So, let's these are just going to roll all over the place so i'm going to get these out i'm going to start with this guy as you probably remember in my other video this is the tie scribe bolt this is the version two he has a version three and i believe a version four called the tie scribe go and i looked at getting the tie scribe go because of the new ergonomic little button and the way that the um, the track is different now, but honestly, I, I kind of just said, you know what, the, the version two might just be the, the best. So I'm, I'm holding on to the version two. It's nice and thin. It takes the, um, Pilot G2 ink cartridge, which I mentioned before. It's got like this nice brighter silver in the groove. So it kind of stands out a little bit. The sharper edge does get you after a long time but it's fine and the, the 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 track doesn't bother me at all like i can do this totally fine fidget funness so i like the version 2 if you are interested in one of these go check out the current version which is the tie scribe go this pen is my office pen my at home office pen it's the pen that sits in my desk drawer and it's the pen that I will go to if I'm at home, unless um, uh, unless I grab one of my wife's random pens that is that's downstairs. But this this is kind of my home office pen. I don't really carry this pen. It uh, it's just sits in the desk. So this is um, the first one. I'm gonna go ahead and put him here. Uh, next up, let's take a look at the sky. This is the Machine Era Classic. This is not the same Machine Era Classic you saw in my last video. That is because my wife now owns the Machine Era Classic in brass, and I got the stainless steel. I kind of always, or I started to kind of fall out of love with the brass, and I really wanted the stainless steel, but I didn't have a good reason to just go buy it because I already had one. And so when my wife was looking for... Um, uh, ink for her pen after we watched my own video and tried some of the ink cartridges that I had recommended in that video. Um, she determined that she wanted a Pilot G2 cartridge. Like that was just her choice as well. And so I said, well, I'll give you my Machine Era Classic in brass and I'll go get the silver stainless. So she's got it. As I mentioned, this is the Pilot G2 ink cartridge. Um, it's got a nice thin tip. This is also very thin. Um, I like a thinner pen. Take this out. There you go. You just pop this out of any Pilot G2. Put it in here. There's no springs. There's no pieces. There's no nothing. It's machined exceptionally well. And there you go. So take the cap. You can put it on the back or not. Most of the time I don't. There you have it. So this pen is my EDC pen. This is my go-to carry pen. This is it with me at work every day. If I could only have one pen, it would be a tough choice between that and this, but I would probably choose this because it's more, um, more functional. You know, these take the same ink cartridges and yet one is significantly longer than the other. So 
just this is just easier to carry around if you could only have one pen for every situation. So it's very weighty. It's very solid. It is just a it's just an amazing pen. This is uh, I mean this pen kind of keeps me uh, well these two really keep me from looking at any other pens. There are some other ones that I've checked out. Uh, I got to see a Grimsmo Saga. I've seen some other uh, just amazing pens and I really just don't have a desire to change this up. You know, these are these are my these are my two. Um and again, they both are running the Pilot G2 cartridge. That is now something I look for in a pen. Um, I like that cartridge. It's easy to get. And I am just sticking with it. Now, enter my third pen. This is my original Fisher Space pen. Uh, looks like, oops, sorry. Looks like it's a little dirty. I need to clean this little thing up. But... This is running the Fisher Space Pen ink cartridge, the Parker style that we talked about. I keep this pen because it is small. It is a Fisher Space Pen refill, which will write anywhere for any reason. It doesn't write well, but it will write it in any situation. And this pen actually sits in my extended EDC backpacks little organizer that I put together with a whole bunch of stuff. So... I need to do a video on this, but it sits down in here, and this goes in my backpack. So this is kind of the, if I don't have either of these with me and I need a pen, this is in the bag kind of a deal. So not a big fan of the, the Parker refills anymore, but I do keep that because it is as useful as uh, we all know. So... These are my three pens. My go-to ink cartridge is the Pilot, and there you have it. That's a um, an update. There are so many good pens out there that uh, you really just have to you really just have to try them and find what works for you. And you know, I I highly recommend all three of these. Um, these two being the the most preferred, but uh, I think they're great. TieScribe Bolt, uh, or also known as the TieScribe Go, if you look for the new one. The Machine Era pen, it's the Machine Era Classic, but it's in uh, stainless steel. And the Fisher Space pen. And uh, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, that gives you guys some info for where I'm currently at. And uh, maybe you'll enjoy picking up one of these. So, have a great day. Thank you very much.